Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky or anything else. Welcome to part two of Minecraft Murder Mystery Adventure Map Cruise Ship Down. That was supposed to be a foghorn, by the way. Also, I hope you like the quality of my new Samsung Go microphone with pop filter. So, in the last episode, we discovered we are a secret agent, disguise ourselves as uh, Pierre Rare, yeah, Pierre Rare for Vincent Vival, uh, because we are trying to uncover his illegal guns smug smuggling operation overseas, but we got a bit of a problem. He got decapitated. I'm not even kidding you. Go back to the last episode just to see. The link will be in the description. And then this video will make a whole lot more sense. But yeah, basically we got a murder on our hands now. And uh, in here is... Uh, I think you can guess what's in there. But anyway. Today we're going to look for some more clues. And see if we can find out who the murderer is. So let's go to the engine room. Should we go to engine room or staff cabins? Hmm. I've... Oh, no, we need a key card to get in there. So, let's go down the... This door shouldn't be open. It's weird. Okay, who's this? Oh, uh... Right, better put a voice on. <clears throat> Hmm, who are you, people? I saw someone else running by here earlier. What did he look like? Well, uh, he had brown hair, I believe. Well, that's very helpful. Oops, I uh, still have the yes or that. Never mind. Clue. Man. Brown head man scene. Now, just to say, if the audio does go a bit funny, that is because I'm not used to using the type of microphone I'm using because I'm used to using my headset mic, just as, as a warning. Um, anybody in here? Uh, right. Oh. Hello? Hmm, who are you people? I saw someone else run by here earlier. What did he look like? Well, uh, he had brown hair, I believe. Oh, wait, no, I'm just reading the same thing as... The, the, uh, no, sorry. Hey, you, I don't know what you're doing here, but I lost my lucky prick. Could you help me find it? I know I had it when I went to the toilet... But I haven't seen it since. Put my lucky brick in here, would you? Mm. Well, if we can get a clue off of this person, or even the key to the engine room, that'd be brilliant. Hmm. Investigating a murder gives me permission to enter the woman's toilets, right? Well. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing in here, nothing here. Ew. Let's just check the rest. Nope. This is definitely the lady's lucky brick. Well, this is going to be embarrassing. Nope, that's the man. She's in the last room, isn't she? There you go. Oh, you found it! Why is it so wet? Uh, I don't think you want to know that. Anyway, here, have my engine room card. I'm afraid that's all I have. And I'll turn... The music. 
and there that always fixes it because like we don't need that type of music when we're doing a murder investigation as such now let us go through ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking I understand there has been an incident on board the ship please gather in the lounge as soon as possible for your own safety help is on the way thank you yeah help is on the way I'm the help right we're going down to engine room B first Whoa, no entry elevator head Okay. Repeater power engine room. Let's see what's going on in here. Excuse me, sir. Do you, uh. Oh. Worried looking man. It, it wasn't me, I swear, but I don't know how to fix it. I think there was supposed to be something called a repeating gap on the right. Uh, I managed to grab all the broken parts though. I put them in the chest in the corner. I just don't know how to craft them. Could you help me? Okay. Right, let's see if my vanilla redstone is up to scratch with knowing how to make... Ah, repeater. Um, yeah. Okay, right. <clears throat> Not so worried looking man he is now. Whoa, you did it. Thanks. It looks like that knife was stuck in the engine. You might as well keep that if you want. Hmm. This must be the murder weapon. They tried to ditch it here. Perhaps it came from the kitchen. Blood-stained butcher's knife. Hmm. I wonder what the murder weapon is. Well, obviously this. <laughs> Also, this disguise is working wonders. Nobody suspects a thing. Right, now we got the murder weapon. Let's go to engine room block A. Down the corridor. Down the ladder. Oh. Mechanic wrench quarters. Elevator head. I must loop around mechanic Wallace's quarters. <coughs> and on. Wallace is in. Wallace and Grummy. Cheese, Grummy! Cheese! Oh, looks like nobody's been down here in ages. Stay out. I mean it. Don't do it. Leave me alone. Mechanic. Huh! You're saying you want my access card to the elevator? No, I'm not giving it to you. Never. Never. I sooner die. Okay. Wait, don't kill me. I changed my mind. Here, take it. By the way, you're... Huh? 20 coal for one emerald? You, sir, are a terrible villager. Let's go and see if... Whoa. Big lag spike there. Let's see if mechanic or uh, uh, what's his name? Mechanic wrench. Hmm. What? Wait. Hey, gold for emerald. <clears throat> mechanic. Hey, interesting getting no, through that door. I don't care who. You are, or what you're doing here, but I'll open it. What? I've lost where I was reading. Um, don't care who you are, um, or what you're doing here, but I'll open the door for you. 
if you help me out. There's this truck, see? He's a chef. Yeah, I know. Can't get much lamer than that. Actually, there are quite a couple of good cooks on TV these days. Uh, I'm right. Uh, anyway, I've been having some uh, disputes with this dork. So, the other day, I pulled a tiny little itsy-bitsy practice harmless prank on him and now he's gone and stolen my wrench my wrench he's such a I tell you yeah anyway you get my wrench I let you through simple he'll have hidden it in the kitchen somewhere I'm sure and we have got elevator access card, uh-huh. Right. Nope, we've been down there. It's time for the elevator. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking once again. I'd just like to remind everyone to make their way to the lounge as soon as possible. Currently, we are waiting for just Pierre Rare and Zed Zalius to arrive. That's Pierre Rare and Zed Zalius. Once again, we'd appreciate it if you could gather in the lounge ASAP. Thank you. Note, you can use this elevator to get back down to the engine room if you wish. You will not be able to return there otherwise. Right, we've got to remember to use this as our way back. Oh. Exit to Vincent Vivo's private suite. We're going there later, but first of all, let's find the wrench. Oh, I'm having really big lag spikes. I don't know why. Note to self. <coughs> right. I think this is the chef. How to make a... No. This is how to make a potion. I thought this would be like a chef that... Ah, the wrench. The wrench is in here. Ah, note by Chef Douchey. Hmm. Right. I don't know what sort of voice or accent I'm going to do for this, but here we go. I'm so furious, I just have to note this down in a book so that I can read it later and be like, wow, I was angry. Anyway, that mechanic put what pulled what he called a small prank on me. He set my bed on fire while I was asleep in it. Luckily, I happened to wet the bed soon after. Ew! Bit gross, but never mind. Uh, which put out the fire, but I was rather irritated when I woke up to find my sheets all charred, so I stole his wrench in retaliation. I've stolen all the grog supplies too, because I know how much he likes his grog. He'll never find his stupid wrench. I hid it in one of the ovens. Ha ha. I'm sure one of the cooks will find it soon, and who knows what they do with it. Okay, well, I'm going to get drunk and scheme some more now. Okay, this is important piece of evidence because he said the word scheme. Some golden apples. We'll uh, hang on to those. As evidence. Is there any up? Oh, actually, I'll take extra steak. Okay, that seems to be all. Let's head back to the elevator. Get that. Um. Hello. Who's this? Cook. You're not supposed to be here. Wait. Where did you get that? 
knife that was stolen from here just yesterday. No, I don't know who stole it. Whoever did must have had exa access to Vival Suite, though, because the other elevators were shut down when it was stolen. Killer clue. Killer access to Vincent's suite. Hmm. Is there anything else that? No, nope. that seems to be about it. So let's exit to the elevator. Ah. It's been a really good adventure map, you know. I like murder mystery sort of stuff. Um, is it this way? No. Uh, other staircase. Oops, a daisy. Uh, let's go down. <coughs> Sorry about that. I needed to just have a cough because I've been doing recording all day. My throat is like red raw and sore, so yeah. Right, put the wrench in the middle of the chest. Aha! Mechanic. Nice one, man! That guy is such a jerk! Here's the access card! Okay. Oh, I was wondering when you'd show up. Before you ask, no, I'm not the murderer. I'm not a foreign businessman, either. This is my real voice. I'm an undercover agent, like you. It wasn't hard to work out. When Vivo was murdered, I decided to take a look around and investigate. But it looks like you've been doing a better job than me. I couldn't find anything. You might have talked to someone earlier, saying they saw someone with brown hair. That was me. You can forget about that clue. The only place left for you to check is Vincent's suite. Only two people have the access card needed to go inside. Vincent and his brother Riley. I grabbed Vincent's card from his body. I already had a look inside the suite, but I couldn't find anything interesting. I left the door open for you, so you can check it out for yourself. Well, good luck. This cruise couldn't have gone much worse, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of the clue the brown-haired man. Uh, you can have that. Yeah, just put that there, put that there. I like to rearrange my inventory. Um, so there's Sir Vincent Beevil's... Whoa. More like teleport. That must be from the kitchen. Ah. Now. One of these paintings, I bet you has a secret behind it, so... Yeah, okay. It's one pain. Hello? Congratulations on finding the... S I can't read that. Room behind... Big surprising... Uh, no, big suspicious looking painting. Ah. Right, uh, let's just... Um, there, that do, uh, exquisite apples, hmm, baby grog, baby grog, baby grog, baby, baby grog, exquisite apples diet advice, woodchucks, can chuck wood, I can't actually read that, um, how to survive decapitation, eh? How to get rid of cobweb. Well, he didn't get rid of part of the cobweb thing, but the decapitation thing, hmm. Who knows if he actually survived? 
Now, let's see. By the way, if you heard a noise just then, that was a pencil falling on my desk. Okay. A display case to hold my favourite book. Don't touch. Press to examine book. This book is called Valkyrie. Was it that movie about people trying to kill Hitler? The Vault. Lever down, on, lever up. Ah. Valkyrie. Is the password. So. It's spelled V A L K Y R I E. I'm just actually writing that down because I got a notebook right beside me to help me in case I get lost along the way. Okay. So. And on just a minute. Okay. Oh. V. A. L. Y. R. I Oops uh, E I gained some sort of lag spike here Did I spell it right? V A L Okay V A Hmm. This is going to cut into the video time because we're at 22 minutes. So I was hoping this would take us about 15. So I will be back in a moment once we got this door open. Hello, everybody. We are back. We have got the door open. I just had some technical difficulties opening the door, but also my... Uh, Recording software crashed for some odd reason. It's been doing that a bit. Should really get that fixed. But anyway, we're inside the vault here. Clue Vincent's a diary. And let's actually read it. Hmm, I think something just opened in the library. Well, let's go and read this outside of the vault. Vincent's diary. <clears throat> Dear diary. I have decided to store my diary in the vault because I really, 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 really times infinity plus two to the power of etc. Don't want anyone to read my embarrassing stories. Anyway, I'm worried about Riley. Our father passed away last week. Uh, he left a will. I don't know why, but... He left almost all his riches to me, as if I was not rich enough already. <laughs> all he left Riley was some house in the middle of nowhere. Needless to say, he's been very angry lately. He started to get this look in his eye, like he's scheming. Something I don't know. To be honest, I don't really care that much about him. After all, now I'm absurdly wealthy. This money will let me live a lovely long life. Yeah. Well, you thought that until you got decapitated, so. <laughs> right, let's go. Aha. This is what has opened up in the library. Oh. Is the elevator going? Yep. Are we back in the lounge? Wait a moment, people. We've got some momentary uh, bad lag. 
I guess Zed's alias is the only one not here now. Well, of course he's not, because he's a child secret agent with a squeaky voice. But really, that voice would sound like this. Wow. Let's read these signs and then I'll end off the episode on a cliffhanger. Caution. Important signs ahead. Got cold in here. We've got Simon Brindley. Down there is probably Rich. Yeah, that's Richie Rich. And probably behind that very door is Vincent's brother. So anybody... Anyway, thank you everybody for watching part two of Cruise Ship Down Murder Mystery and join me in the part three, which will probably be the finale, where we uncover the killer, capture him, and take him back to headquarters. So until next time, remember to leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment who you think the murderer is, and until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies.